In the past few months, there's been a massive storm of new realistic AI image generators. It feels like every week a new one drops, each claiming to be the most lifelike yet. But to see if they're actually as good as they promise, I decided to take every major AI image generator, both new and old, and push them to the limit to find out which ones actually deliver true realism. The results shocked me. Some images were so real, you'd swear they were shot on a high-end camera, while others turned out to be nothing more than overblown promises, with outputs that looked mediocre at best and struggled with details like lighting, skin, and even basic structure. So in this video, I'll show you the five most realistic AI image generators I discovered, plus one tool that makes using them all easier and far more efficient. The tool I'll be using to access each of the models in this video is called OpenArt. This platform lets you connect to all of these AI models and many more, while also giving you extra features that make your workflow with AI much faster and more efficient. So let's jump into our first tool, and it's actually the newest release so far. Nano Banana. Nano Banana is officially known as Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, and it's Google DeepMind's latest image generator and editor. The big promise here is seamless image editing, things like adding elements or changing background. Google markets it as a fast, highly realistic editing tool with strong fidelity across multiple steps. Now, to make all of these tests as fair as possible, we're going to follow the exact same process. We'll be running one prompt that stays completely unedited across every AI image generator we test today. To access Nano Banana through OpenArt, after signing in, you'll want to go to the left side of the screen and click where it says image. That instantly opens the image workflow. For switching models, just click the switch button here and then select the correct AI model, in this case, Nano Banana. From there, it's very straightforward. You just type your prompt into the prompt section. The prompt is, create a hyper-realistic portrait of a young woman under soft, natural lighting, neutral background, detailed skin texture, accurate facial anatomy. This prompt doesn't include a lot of specificity, but that's intentional. It ensures every AI model can run it and generate the best possible results within its own strength. And to keep things fair, we won't touch any of the other settings. So with the prompt ready, I just click create and here are the results. Right away, you can see the output looks incredibly realistic. There is very little of that AI fill you sometimes notice in generated images. Overall, it looks very good and highly realistic. The only drawback is a slight smoothness in the skin, which can give away that it's AI, but that's something you can easily fix by upscaling. If you click here, it opens a new upscaling window where you can boost the resolution all the way up to 4K. That sharpens details and reduces the softness, making the final result even stronger. For a model that isn't specifically built to generate images without references, this is already an impressive result. But to really test its strength, Let's try it with reference images. For this test, I'm uploading three. The portrait we generated, a photo of a scarf and a mountain background photo to give the image some depth and atmosphere. To add them, click upload reference. You'll need to upload the images one by one. I recommend starting with the portrait since that's the most important reference in this use case. Nano Banana lets you upload up to four images which covers about 90% of real world use cases. For the prompt, I prepared this. Add the scarf naturally to the subject, replace the background with the mountain photo, keep the face and lighting consistent, realistic style. Now here's a really cool feature inside OpenArt, Auto Enhance. This automatically fine tunes your prompt so it better fits the model you're using, which saves time and often improves results. Next, you can select your output size. Since I wanted this one in a wider photo format, I just clicked widescreen. Then I hit create. The results came out very strong. The scarf and mountain were added seamlessly. The subject blended naturally into the scene and the final image looks like it could have come from a high-end fashion shoot. This is exactly how Google recommends using the tool, combining multiple elements into a single realistic image. One thing to watch out for, if you're using more than two reference images, sometimes the finer details can get lost. My recommendation is to make one change at a time. For example, first add the subject into the background, save that output, then upload it again and add the scarf. That way, the image stays sharp and detailed through each step. Overall, Nano Banana is a great tool if you're looking to edit product or brand images, swap out backgrounds or remix design concepts into something new. But what if you want to go beyond editing and generate stunning, realistic images purely from prompts with no references at all? That's where our next tool, Ideogram, comes in. Ideogram is founded by a former Google researcher, and it's a startup model known for its strong text rendering and prompt adherence. It really shines at producing images with clear logos, lettering, and things like that, which to be honest, a lot of models struggle with, even Nano Banana. Now, as I mentioned earlier, switching models inside OpenArt is simple. You just click the switch button and select Ideogram V3. Then we're going to run our neutral prompt to test how well this model handles realistic generations. So I'll paste in our prompt, 
and click generate. The image that came out looks much more dramatic than Nano Bananas, and in many ways, it's more pleasant to look at. You can see the way the lighting hits the side of her face. It looks very realistic. In both images that I generated, the person looks pretty good. But in one of them, the anatomy of the face turned out a little bit strange. She's at a slight angle, and because of that, the proportions don't quite look natural. Personally, I prefer the first version a lot more. Now one thing to point out, this does look a little more like a very well done painting rather than a perfectly realistic photo. That's one of Ideogram's quirks. It nails the realism pretty well, but compared to Nano Banana, which leaned more towards smoothness, Ideogram's output has a drawn or painted feel to it. Still, I'd say it's a strong result. To really test its strength, I wrote a prompt specifically designed to check text rendering. The prompt is, photorealistic portrait of a young woman. Add a metal nameplate at the bottom, with the word Luna engraved in elegant serif font. Text must be clear, sharp, and integrated realistically. Then I turn on Auto Enhance to make sure the model understood the prompt as well as possible. Ideogram also allows you to add negative prompts, but for this test, I kept it simple and left those out. For output size, I go with the art print aspect ratio. Then I click Create. The results came out pretty good. It wasn't exactly what I envisioned with the metal plate, but the writing itself looked very sharp and clear. Now the word was simple, straightforward lettering, and the AI made it fairly large, but overall it was integrated nicely. The portrait of the woman came out looking solid, though just like before, it leaned a little more toward an artistic illustrated look rather than a photo taken with a professional camera. So overall, I'd say if this more artistic, slightly stylized realism is what you're looking for, Ideogram is a fantastic choice, especially for anything involving text. But if you want results that look like they were literally shot on a professional camera, then our next model, Juggernaut XL, is going to give you exactly that. Juggernaut XL is a high resolution, incredibly realistic model that's widely praised for its cinematic clarity, its detail, and its lifelike skin and body rendering. To test it out, I already have it selected here. As you can see, there are a lot more settings available compared to other models. That's because this one is so advanced in terms of realism. For now, I'm not going to change anything. I'll walk you through the settings a little later. For the first test, I'll just paste in our general prompt, turn off auto enhance and click create. And the images that came back absolutely stunning. The hair, the skin texture, the lighting, everything looks incredibly realistic. This model is literally built for generating images like this. Without a doubt, this is the best result we've had so far. To push it further, I tested it with a high-end photography style prompt. High-end fashion photography portrait of a woman wearing a silk gown, dramatic spotlight, glossy skin texture, cinematic contrast editorial magazine style. This time, I turned auto enhance back on. The most important setting is prompt adherence. This controls how closely the model sticks to your exact prompt. If you lower it, Juggernaut adds more of its own creative interpretation. That can sometimes make the image more visually striking, but it may not match your prompt word for word. If you raise it, the model follows your prompt more literally. For this test, I set it to about five, which gives a good balance. Next, there's image guidance. This is where you can upload a reference photo. For example, if you want the AI to base the image on a real person or even yourself, you can add that image here and Juggernaut will adapt the generation around it. Then there's aspect ratio. Most of the time, you'll just stick to the presets, but you can also customize the width and height manually if you need something specific. For this test, I went with a vertical format. There's also the seed, which is just a number that determines the initial noise pattern for the image. Using the same seed can help you recreate or slightly adjust an earlier result. And finally, the steps. This controls how long the AI runs before producing the final image. A higher number usually gives better detail, but only up to a point. The default is 25. For this test, I pushed it slightly higher to 30. So with everything set, I click create, and the results were amazing. These images look hyper-realistic, like they could go straight into a portfolio, a website, or even a printed magazine. The lighting is spot on, the skin tones are balanced, and the overall quality feels indistinguishable from a professional DSLR shot. And here's a pro tip. If you want to generate images of a specific person, take a series of photos of yourself or your subject and create a custom character inside OpenArt. Then use Juggernaut XL as your generation model. It will adapt to that person and give you professional looking portraits that look like they came from a real shoot. The next generator in our lineup is called Flux Context Max. This was considered the editing king before Nano Banana was released. And even today, it's still a very powerful tool. It's developed by Black Forest Labs as part of the Flux One Context Suite and it specializes in precise, prompt-driven image editing, very similar to Nano Banana. To test if Flux Context Max still holds its ground against Nano Banana, I started with our default neutral prompt. I leave every setting untouched and click Generate. And to be completely honest, 
from just a neutral prompt, the images came out looking a little more realistic than Nano Bananas. If we look at the first one, the woman looks very natural. You can even make out what looks like makeup on her face. Now that could be glossiness added by the model, but in this case, it really feels like makeup which actually adds to the realism. The hair, the lips, and the overall anatomy look very strong. For the second image it generated, the result leaned colder in tone with a completely different looking model. But even here, the realism held up. It still looked natural and believable. Now, Flux Context Max is mostly known for its editing features, so I wanted to put those to the test. For this, I use another portrait I found online, and since we're testing realism, and not just how creative the model can be with prompts, instead of mixing random elements, I gave it a more controlled instruction. Change the hairstyle to wavy, add stylish thin glasses, and adjust the lighting for warmer tones. Preserve the face, pose, and expression. Hyper-realistic. This would show how well the model can edit an existing image, making changes while keeping the subject consistent. The settings here are mostly the same as the ones I've already covered with other models, so no need to repeat them. The only difference is that with Flux Context Max, you can increase the step size. This does make it take slightly longer to generate compared to Juggernaut XL, but honestly, the delay is barely noticeable. So I click Create, and here are the results. The new glasses look natural, even though I never gave the AI any image reference for them. The hairstyle also turned out exactly how I envisioned when I wrote wavy. The edits were smooth, believable, and stayed true to the original photo. This was a relatively simple test for the model, but it highlights the strength of Flux Context Max. If your focus is on creative touch-ups and realistic edits, I'd say it still outperforms Nano Banana in that category. Nano Banana, on the other hand, is stronger when it comes to repositioning subjects, changing clothing, and building new concepts for things like branding or product ads. So overall, Flux Context Max still delivers excellent results, especially for realistic photo adjustments. Now the common theme that we've seen with all of the other AI image generators that we've tested today is that every time they give you a photo, it looks something like they were taken on a professional camera with professional makeup and studio lighting. But what if you want a photo that looks like it was just casually taken with a phone camera? That is where OpenArt's own AI image generator comes in. Let's take a look. This next model is actually built directly by the creators of OpenArt, the tool we've been using throughout this video. And it's designed with one specific goal, to generate realistic images that don't look stylized, artistic, or AI made at all. Instead, the images come out casual, like everyday photos. I already have it pre-selected, so let's generate our base image. Compared to other models, you'll notice there aren't nearly as many settings here. That's because this model has a single purpose, creating normal, realistic photos. And as you can see, the results match that goal perfectly. The images look casual, natural, like pictures you'd snap on a summer trip, very subtle, very believable, almost like they were taken on a regular phone camera. To test it further, I gave it a more specific prompt. A young woman sitting at a cafe table outdoors, soft daylight, casual clothing, natural expression, realistic depth of field background, slightly blurred. I turned on auto enhance, set the output to horizontal, and hit generate. The result looks exactly like a candid photo. It generally feels like it could have been taken on a phone in everyday life. And to be honest, even after seeing Juggernaut cinematic images or Flux's highly polished edits, this model delivers something different, probably the most realistic looking photos yet. They're not dramatic, not overly smooth, and not exaggerated. They're just simple, casual human images. The kind you'd expect your mom to snap of you at a cafe. And now in front of you, you can see all the base images we generated with today's five AI image generators. And to be completely honest, there isn't one single most realistic model that takes the cake. You've just seen it. If you want something casual, like photos that look like they came straight from your normal camera roll, you'll want to go with open art photo realistic. If you're aiming for professional high-end results, then Juggernaut XL is the obvious choice. If you want to tweak a photo, maybe change the hairstyle or add a little makeup, Flux Context Max is the way to go. And if you want to completely change the photo while keeping the key details intact, you'd reach for Nano Banana. But to be completely honest, the one that really stands out overall is OpenArt itself, because it lets you generate all of these results in one place without paying for 10 different subscriptions, without relying on sketchy free websites full of pop-up ads. Just a single clean workflow. Inside OpenArt, you can go from an idea in your head to a fully generated and even upscaled image in seconds. So if you want to start creating realistic, professional looking photos, like the ones we've tested today, go sign up for OpenArt using the link down in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one.